Hello YouTube! Today we are going to learn how to desolder but we are not using the soldering iron we are going to use this to desolder small components from this iPhone logic board first of all, as always, I am going to apply a flux uh, How much flux to use? Uh, doesn't really matter, more is better more flux will make your job easier the temperature of the hot air station there is no answer for this question because depends on your logic board depends on your room temperature it depends on your uh, hot air station's performance there isn't really answer for this but I'm going to try 350 and then if it doesn't work I'm going to increase the temperature but first I'm going to try 350 because my machine, that's what I use typically for desoldering and air pressure is air blow now at 35% but I'm going to just increase it to 100% Okay, that's how to desolder small components from iPhone logic board using a hot air gun they're pretty tiny sometimes there's no space for my soldering iron to get in that's why I am using this hot gun it's easier this way trust me okay we'll try a few more apply flux So make sure you use the proper air blow power yeah, otherwise they're gonna just fly away just like this so be careful do not use too strong air blow for your work Okay, that's how to desolder iPhone logic board components using a hot air gun. All you need is the flux and a tweezer and your hot air station or, or hot air gun. That's it. Uh, you must use a good grade, a great quality uh, flux that helps a lot. And then of course the hot air station, if you use a cheap one, the temperature is not steady and sometimes the temperature reading is not accurate yeah, for the job that requires a precision like this you must use a good quality a decent brand hot air station or other flux tweezers everything otherwise you're gonna fail or it's gonna be really tough to uh, even remove these small components from this iPhone logic board okay that's how to desolder using a hot air gun. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you have questions, leave comments. I'll do my best to answer the questions. And thank you for watching.